Hey guys, a lot of you want to know how I got my first customer and some of you want to know how I get all my customers. So today I'm going to share that with you in this video. Today I'm in an elevator at a self storage place and believe it or not, this was my first account that I ever got that we do nightly janitorial at. So I showed you some of my deep cleaning jobs before. Another part of my business is nightly cleaning and that provides me a stable income that I can depend on. Um, that way I can kind of plan my life around how much I know is going to be coming in the door. So I'll tell you how I got this, but first, um, if you guys have been enjoying this channel and you want to know how you can support it, I'm going to link a PayPal thing um, down below in the description. And that way, um, as you guys are supporting the channel, we can all kind of pull our resources together and I can buy a better camera, a better computer, and I can make better content for everybody. So anyway. <clears throat> The way I get all my customers is basically I figure out which industry I want to target and I figure out where I want to target geographically. So I might take restaurants in one city in my area. I want to make a list of every single restaurant in that city. Then um, I'll make like an Excel spreadsheet or whatever. And then another thing that I'll do to make this list is I might go door to door and just introduce myself and say, hey, I'm with a commercial cleaning company. We specialize in restaurants. We're running a promotion on this service right now. Who can I talk to? Who makes decisions about that sort of thing? And then I grab the card or the email address for like the owner or manager or whoever it is. And I go back home and I put that on my list. And I try and build a list as big as humanly possible. And I'm always building this list. Um, Actually, I'm not building it, my wife builds it. I taught her my entire process, and one big way she does it is just, she goes on Yelp, she searches on Google, she does Google Street View, and just goes down certain streets and looks for restaurants, and then looks up their business online. Um, and she compiles this big ass list, and then I made an email template that she sends out. I'm gonna try and stand on the wall and stabilize this. I made this email template that she sends out, and basically, um, it just says, hi, I'm with a small cleaning company in your city, and, like the greater metro area, um, maybe not like the specific city, but like the big city. And um, we're running a promotion on this service right now for this month only. Do you have time for a quick estimate this week? And we try and send out about 100 of those emails every single day. And out of 100 emails, we get 10 callbacks, people who are interested. Now. Some of these people don't actually become customers because maybe they want something that we don't offer or the job's too small and I don't want to do it or it's too big and I don't want to do it. There's a lot of different reasons. Not everyone becomes a customer. But out of the 10 people that call me back and I go do a walkthrough for, about four of them will become a customer. And it's just a matter of statistics. If you have a good product and you can communicate it clearly to people who want it, if you get your message in front of enough people, you're gonna start closing deals. So that's kind of the strategy that I take. Um, I say that we do it every single day. We actually don't because we don't need a whole lot of new business, but when, when things get slow, then we do do it every day. So um, another thing is I go back through my calendar from the previous year. So right now we're in January. I went back to my calendar in January of 2017 and I saw all the customers that I worked with back then. And I just called them and I said, hey, you know, it's been a year since I've been in. Um, I'd like to just check in with you, see how everything's going, see if you want me to come back out. And every single customer that I called from last year, they scheduled a job for this year again. So out of the cold calls we did, we closed about 18 deals, I think. And I don't know the exact date. I think today's the 23rd or something. So out of 23 days, we closed 18 of those deals. And then uh, I called on my previous customers, got that business. And also I have all these nightly accounts like this one that I'm in right now. So that's how I met this guy. I walked in and I just introduced myself to him and he said, you know, we're under new management and the new owner wants to hire a cleaning company. So why don't you submit a proposal? And I did and I submitted it. And then he like, I came out and I did a walkthrough and I looked at all the tasks I needed to do and I figured out what the job would cost. And then, I submitted like a written contract, like an agreement that outlined every single detail. And I'll talk about that in another video, but essentially his boss looked it over and he's like, yeah, it looks good, but your price is too high. Will you do it for this? And I said, sure. And that was four years ago. And they've been, it's been a residual income, you know, month over month. 
I've been just getting the paycheck every single month on the very first. It's like automatic bill pay. They just pay it and I know it's gonna be there. So it's been really great. But that's how I get all my customers and that is how I got my first nightly janitorial contract. So anyway, if you guys like this stuff, subscribe to my channel and uh, we'll see you next time.